Hello and welcome to Speedy Medical. So as the pandemic is growing worldwide and there are numerous deaths which are increasing at such a rapid rate, the scientists from all around the world are exploring numerous angles including newer drugs and compounds. In the recent times, one potential treatment has gained attention of scientists from all around the world. Yes, you are right. I'm talking about the convalescent plasma therapy or simply the plasma therapy. Stay with me for the next 5 minutes and we will discuss what is this therapy and what is the role of plasma therapy in the treatment of COVID-19 patients. So if we talk of an infected person who is infected with SARS-CoV-2 or the COVID-19 disease, during the phase of illness, the immune system of this patient will be active and it will produce various antibodies into the blood of the patient. These antibodies, they will react with the virus and they will inactivate the COVID virus. So as a result of these antibodies, the COVID virus will be inactivated. Also some of the antibodies, they will start recruiting other cells of the immune system and as a result of this, a more stronger immune response will be generated which would help to clear the virus from the bloodstream of the patient and eventually the patient will recover from the disease. As the patient recovers from the disease, the virus will be eliminated from the plasma of the patient but the antibodies which were generated from the immune system of the patient, they will stay in the plasma for some time. Now in the convalescent plasma therapy, we will infuse the plasma of the person who has just recovered from the disease into the patient who is suffering from the COVID-19 disease. It is based on the old principle that whenever we will introduce the plasma which is containing the antibodies into the patient who is infected, these antibodies they will do the same job that they did in the previous patient that is they will kill the virus which is located in the patient's blood and also they will activate the immune cells in the patient which will also help to clear the virus from that patient. Now you might be thinking that is this a hypothetical situation or there is some proof for this plasma therapy. So earlier in this year two studies were done in China and according to these studies in first study 10 patients were studied and in the second study about 5 patients were studied and these patients were treated by using the plasma therapy and both in these cases the patient they show very positive results and almost all of the patients they recovered in a shorter span of time as compared to the patients who were not given this plasma therapy. Now let's look at the steps which are involved in this plasma therapy. In the first step, the blood from the patient who has just recovered from the COVID-19 disease is collected and the plasma will be extracted from that blood. Next, this plasma which is extracted from the blood of the recovered patient, it is allowed to undergo certain tests in which first of all it is screened for the antibodies against the SARS-CoV virus 2. Let's say there are sufficient amount of antibodies against the virus, then only this plasma will be allowed to transfuse into the infected patient. Also, there are some other procedures which have to be done first before introducing the plasma into the infected person. After we have done all the protocols, this plasma is allowed to be infused into the sick patient and it is expected that this plasma will initiate an immune response and the patient will ultimately recover from the disease. Now, this is not the whole scenario. Currently, the scientists are working to find out the patients in whom the plasma therapy should be given and also the appropriate time during which the plasma therapy should be given whether it should be given at the start of the disease or it should be given when the patient starts to deteriorate. So this is all about the plasma therapy. I hope you like this video. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this on the COVID-19.